What's up guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to a new video. Hard light, my TPS. Let's go. Alright, so hard light has always been my most favorite power. The single target is amazing, the combos, the animations. I did a hard light video around two years ago and since then there have been a little bit of changes in the loadout, in the setup. So here we are with the updated version. So this is gonna be a might based loadout and my might is 155,080 and we're gonna focus on might because we're gonna be using our superpowers, so every damage you do by with your superpowers is based on might. Every damage you do with your weapons is based on precision, but this is gonna be based on might. So make sure you have everything based on might. And my CR is 378 right now. I am using Elite Gear with some OP items and some purple items, but still 378. So this is the AOE loadout. And for that, we're gonna be using rifle because rifle has that grenade, which does AOE damage. It's not a lot, but if you have extra skill points, you can put it in the precision and you can get some extra damage out of it. But anyways, so first off, we're gonna look at the gear mods. So blast adapter five for weapon socket and supercharged new venom boost for head socket and escalating might five for neck, berserker for back, penetrating strike for chest, restorative hand clap for legs, maximum damage for hands and for feet you can use anything you want i'm super speed so i'm using tumbling master but if you're not you can use deadly block or whatever you want and for the augments we are using full might augments right now and also for the base mods we are using power and might so make sure you get that and for the artifacts we are using Transformation card, strategist card, and Quizlet. So as you can see, I'm still leveling up my Quizlet, but believe me, you need to get it up. Uh, so let's start with Quizlet. Quizlet is basically your pet. So it's just like Grimorium, but the difference between Grimorium and Quizlet is Grimorium is single target pet, like it only damages a single target. Quizlet damages everybody, like it's an AOE damage. It damages up to eight targets. So whenever you use a superpower, Quizlet will cast a powerful attack that hits up to eight targets with a five second internal cooldown. So every five seconds, it can hit up to eight targets and in between it will be hitting single target damage, doing single target damage anyways. Then the other thing you're gonna get is around 4% might if you level it up to 180 and at 160 you're gonna unlock uh, the supercharged refractor beam basically so when you use a supercharged quizlet will release a powerful attack so using a 5000 cost supercharge will deal med medium damage toward your primary target and hitting up to seven additional targets using a 10,000 cost supercharge will deal a high damage attack to your primary target well the thing is nobody uses 10,000 uh, cost supercharge so we're gonna stick with 5000 so make sure you, it's at least 160 rank because it is at least 160 rank and if you get it up to 100 uh, 200 it's whenever you use a supercharge it will uh, whenever you use a superpower it will grant you one percent supercharge so you will get your supercharge back uh, a little bit faster every five seconds basically so that's awesome for aoe the next thing transformation card as always is going to give you three percent might it will give you 20 percent critical chance and 30 percent critical magnitude on attacks one of the best dps artifact in the game and when paired with strategist card it goes awesome so strategist card will give you four percent might as well as other you know stats but what happens is it will apply a damage over time for eight seconds and it's called tactical advantage and if you level it up up to rank 200 it will also double the proc chance of tactical advantage and also increase the potency of tactical advantage by 30 percent so you're gonna be having some you know damage over time going on for eight seconds and uh, depending on the type of the ability you use but whenever it procs first of all it will double their proc chance and second when whenever it procs it will be uh, 30 percent more damage if you if you have a 200 rank strategist card so this is basically the loadout and trust me when i say with the loadout in this video the, all the loadouts you don't have to do artifact swapping so i don't do artifact artifact swapping but if you want to um, mid fight what you can do is you can replace quizlet with eog get some you know extra 20 percent damage and you can also use scrap in between to get your supercharge up really fast so there's you know some of the artifacts you can do uh, if you want to do artifact swapping so let's go and take a look at skill points allocation for range aoe all right so skill point allocation we're gonna look start with the weapons i'm using rifle as i said before so just put one in here 
Then under super speed, you're gonna get this or flight or acrobat, whatever you are. Make sure to unlock that so you can move a little bit faster. These, you don't have to get it if you are, if you don't have enough skill points. If you have extra skill points, you should get it. This will basically just uh, give you, you know, 10% in case and root resistance and 10% impulse resistance. And this will give you some extra power whenever you break out or, you know, get stunned and stuff like that. Under iconic powers, we're gonna get robot sidekick, new item boost. And you can get heat vision if you don't have armories but if you have armories do not get it for range aoe so save one skill point there and under stat points we're gonna go for super powered and it will give us 10 percent might 10 percent power 25 percent power regeneration so whenever you use a super power it will just automatically give you power back critical attack chance put everything in here critical attack damage put everything in here and get everything in might and power because this is a might based loadout so you need extra might you need extra power put everything here then if you have extra skill points put them in precision for range because we are going to be clipping our grenade uh, every time we start our you know uh, rotation so the thing with hard light is it's very hard to clip weapon with the hard light combos going on and it's going to be a lot of clipping so you can only do uh, weapon damage you know whenever you start a rotation but still get it why not so some extra damage in there and now we're gonna go and take a look at the loadout all right so here we are with the loadout the first one is lightweight strike it's a supercharged generator and it dazes the enemy so the power interaction is dazes the enemy the reason we are using this is because we are not using grimorium anymore grimorium automatically applies the power interaction while quizlet does not so we're going to be using this and also it will generate some supercharge so why not so start with this number two is light blast it's uh it's a beam it's a finisher if enemies are below 35 percent the attacks will deal extra damage and I'm gonna be putting everything in text on screen, the complete rotation so you can follow, but I'll still say it. So what we're gonna do is after we pop light blast, let it take for like two seconds and then hold your range attack button. This will take light blast into the minigun combo as you can see it right over here so it goes into minigun when you go into minigun you tap melee and that minigun will go into whip thrash so what you're gonna basically do is you're gonna press light blast then hold range it goes into minigun and then tap melee it goes into whip thrash as soon as you tap melee you clip that with number three so you go back to minigun but it's a power this time so again minigun but it's a power so let it take for like two seconds and then tap melee for whip thrash again it says over here so as soon as you tap melee clip that again with ram and again with ram tap melee for whip thrash so it's basically very simple to remember these two powers as soon as you hit minigun you can tap melee for whip thrash minigun tap melee for whip thrash and after ram tap melee for whip thrash so as soon as you tap melee you clip it with the next power and what you have to do is basically you have to let it take for like two seconds or maybe sometime one second um you might think it's slow it's not slow i'm telling you light blast does good damage miniguns do really good damage and ram is okay as well it's a burst damage in the beginning and then when you clip it with you know whip thrash it's a lot of damage you'll see in a second what i mean but just in case, let's say uh, you mess up the timing and you clip it too fast, you can keep on spamming RAM until the light blast is out of cooldown and make sure after every second rotation you pop lightweight strike again so you your enemies are dazed and when they are dazed, they will pow these power will do some extra damage as you can see right over here. Number five is robot sidekick. You can either use Exobyte attuned robot sidekick or the normal one. Where's the other one? Uh, here we go. It's up to you. It just looks cool. And number six is new item boost. New item boost is your supercharge, 5,000 supercharge cost. And when you pop it, whatever damage you will do will be, uh, you will be doing extra 40% damage with new item boost. Cooldown is a lot, I know, but trust me, uh, this supercharge is better than using the hard light uh, supercharges. Okay, keep one thing in mind, this is not full range loadout, this is a mid range loadout. The whip thrash will not hit from full range, whip thrash will only hit from mid range. So, so make sure you are uh, in safe distance, but uh, close enough for the target to, you know, hit the targets basically. But awesome loadout and you'll see in a minute what I, you will see in a minute what I mean. So let's go to the spying targets and see the numbers.
So here we are with the range. It started with 157, 171, 185, 203, 215 K. As you can see, it just keeps going up and this is unbuffed. So just reminding you, so if you are buffed, you have a buff troller in your group, you have some group buffs going on, you have popped some new item boost, holy shit, it is gonna go really, really high. And so don't sleep on hard light AOE, it's there, you just need to know how to use it and position yourself right. You're gonna do great damage. So now let's move on to single target. All right, here we are with the single target loadout. Again, we're gonna focus on might. You can see my might increased a little bit. That's because we changed the artifact. So everything is same, basically. Uh, combat rating is same, augments, mods, everything is same. The only thing different is I'm using dual wield. You can still use rifle for the grenade. It's up to you, but I'm just, I just like using dual wield when I'm doing single target damage. It's up to you. You can use whatever weapon you want. So the artifacts are, again, strategist card, transformation card, and grimorium. So Grimorium, as I told you before, it's a single target pet. It also applies the power interaction to the target and gives you 4% might. So that's the reason I have some extra might over here uh, and I'm still unbuffed by the way. So looking at the skill points allocation, weapon, same thing. And under super speed, same thing, unlock these. Iconic powers, same thing. And stat points, we are still using the same. Yeah, so that's why that's why I was saying you can still use the same skill points allocation for range AOE and uh, single target. It's up to you. And I'm not gonna lie, the the loadout is still the same as last year. And hand clap, grasping hand, light blast, heat vision, uh, robot sidekick, neon boost. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with hand clap, and when you tap range two times so one is from the power then you tap range there's another hand clap then you tap range there's a third hand clap and if the enemy is dazed it will do additional damage and enemies are going to be dazed because we are using grimorium so the power interaction will be applied so what you're going to do is we're going to cl hand clap use power then tap range and then when you do third tap range no actually second tap range you clip that with grasping hand so when you do grasping hand you hold melee that will do a grasping hand pull so when you do press the power grasping hand it's a great burst damage for single target it goes up to 250k crits when you are buffed and normally it hits around 80k to 150k when you are not buffed so really really good grasping hand damage and when you do a whole melee with the uh, after doing the power it will do the grasping hand pull and that will apply damage over time so when you do pulling, basically when you press hold melee, you clip that with light blast. So goes into light blast, same as before, hold range into minigun. And when you are into minigun, you tap range this time. Don't do tap melee, tap range. So when you do tap range, it will go into ram. And as soon as you tap range, you go into heat vision and Heat vision is basically channeling power, but you can jump cancel it. So as soon as you do heat vision, you jump cancel it. It will still apply damage over time, but you have now canceled the animation. So then you can go back. Now, some people will say grasping hand is doing so much damage. You can, you know, you should just do it again and again and again. I agree. I'm not gonna lie, I do agree. Grasping hand is awesome, it do great damage, but what the thing about grasping hand is, uh, and other powers is, uh, it's a 200 power cost and hand clap is 300 power cost. So when you do spamming between um, hand, hand clap and grasping hand, one, two, one, two, one, two, you are gonna be out of power in no time and you are gonna be losing damage in the long term, basically, long run. So you need to modify your loadout a little bit. You need to make sure you have a lot of power. And I'm still telling you, this is a great loadout. You'll see in a second what I mean. This loadout works in everything, especially in survival modes, like amazing, uh, because it's all about single targeting the bosses and does great damage. Number five is same, robot sidekick. Number six is supercharged, same as before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the sparring target and look at the numbers.
so here we are with the single target damage you can see it started with 82,000 merely but because that's why we were still setting it up and then it went up to 124k for only 10 seconds like this is amazing 1.2 million damage in 10 seconds and then 118 102 and then again 120 125 and this is amazing damage you can see by yourself this kind of damage is usually done by you know uh precision dps's and for a might power it's great so, and this is unbuffed by the way if you are buffed you use soldiers you use your you know uh new item boost it's gonna go really high so amazing single target damage and now you know why all right so this loadout is for the people who don't like heat vision and you know some people have also problem with minigun they don't like how it looks but anyway so this loadout is for them and it's still a great loadout what we're gonna do is we're gonna change light blast with snap trap and number four we're going to remove it and you can put anything you want here it's up to you because we're only going to be using these three powers so what we're going to do is you can like you can put light barrier for your extra shield you can book triage for you know uh for some extra heals uh it's up to you so let's just put heal over here so what we're going to do is we're going to do hand clap and tap range two times and clip that second hand no third hand clap with grasping hand when you do grasping hand you hold melee when you pull you clip that with snap trap and when you do snap trap you tap range it goes into fan and it will cause damage over time so what you're going to do is you clip that with hand clap so you just keep repeating this right these combos and you will always be doing more than 100k damage well a it depends on your CR and stats, but still, it's a great damage. It's it's awesome. And sometimes, like at my CR 378, I was able to hit 135k with this loadout. So it does work. So the only difference is that it's a little bit more power hungry. So you have to manage your power, use solar, use supply drop, and you know, get a good troll. And second thing, we are not using light blast, right? So light blast is basically your, I told you it's a finisher power. If the enemies are below 35%, it will do extra damage. And since we are not using that, you have to be very consistent with this loadout to stay up on the top of the you know scorecard and keep up with the damage so we are missing a little bit of damage because of the light blast but still i'm telling you this one is more consistent compared to the one i told you earlier but still the one with the finisher works better for me this one might work better for you so if you're not a fan of heat vision and stuff like that use this loadout and trust me it will work for you now let's go and take a look at the melee loadout All right, so here we are with the melee loadout. This has exactly the same setup as the range, mid-range AOE loadout. You know, the gear mods are same, the augments are same, the ALIs are same, everything. Even artifacts are same, still using rifle. So uh, as you can see, the might is still the same. So the only little, little minor difference is under iconic powers, you get Sonic Cry. So Sonic Cry is an iconic power and that's it. So looking at the loadout, this is my meta loadout and you will notice that there is no whirling dervish in here and there's nothing related to super speed so you can say thank you eddie in comments i came up with this loadout for because people have been complaining why all the melee loadouts are using super speed powers and we don't want to use them we want to stay we want to stay flight or acrobat or whatever so this is for them this is for and this works this works great you will see in a second but still we are using one iconic power and the reason is uh it's a great burst damage uh and 360 burst damage as close range it dazes the enemies and we can use like right wrist strike it's also a supercharged gener generator uh you can use that but it's not gonna work you can use spike quick it's the same thing this is the enemy but trust me sonic cry does more damage so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sonic cry it is the enemies 360 burst damage quick quick burst damage number two is lightweight so when you pop lightweight it will spin you so keep spinning for like three seconds and then tap range it will throw the lightweight at the enemies and it will do some burst damage as well dazed enemies will take additional damage because of sonic cry your enemies are already dazed so that's awesome number three is gonna be whip trash so this time it's straight up power before we were you know channeling our powers through light blast or you know ram or minigun but right this time we're gonna be using whip trash right away 
close range damage and when you do second tap melee it will do whip thrash again so what you're going to do is you do lightweight and you tap range and right when you press tap range you clip that with whip thrash power and then whip do the whip trash and then when you do tap melee clip that tap melee with chainsaw so uh, lightweight tap range clip whip trash tap melee clip chainsaw so when you're using the chainsaw you can do tap melee five times for additional chainsaw combo and trust me the fifth tap melee chainsaw combo hits really hard 360 damage is awesome so what you're going to do is you're going to do this tap uh, you're gonna press chainsaw do tap melee five times and clip that fifth tap melee with sonic cry so that's about it you do one two three four keep doing it and you have an amazing melee loadout but trust me guys there are not many situations you're gonna be using this loadout other than maybe solo stuff or maybe duos and so make sure you have a very very good healer with you when you're using this loadout because in endgame content the ads hit really hard and do not use it in elite uh, elite content you're gonna die so anyways so here's the loadout let's go to sparring target and see the numbers Alright, so here we are with the melee. As you can see, I told you before, it's gonna be, it's it's a great loadout. So 189k starting point, then 209, and then 247, 200, 2.4 million damage in under 10 seconds, then 2.1 million, 2.3 million. Like that's amazing numbers for a melee loadout. And you can see why I was saying that this loadout works even without whirling dervish. It's like, isn't it great? allies i forgot to talk about the allies for ranged aoe and melee i'm using uh professor zoom because of the aoe damage you can use any other ally you want for aoe damage which has good aoe damage other than you know crypto or you know the bot house of legends bot uh, they're single target but yeah for aoe damage professor zoom works always use batman who laughs for your support because we are using this mechanic over here it has this ability to pop a beneficial card from the batman who loves deck so if you pop like you know batman card it's gonna give you some extra stats and i think a uh, figure card i don't remember the name but yeah if you pop that one it's gonna give you some extra criticals so pop that number third is optional you can use uh another batman um the death metal batman or you can use you know queen nubia it's up to you for any kind of extra stats or extra damage you can use that but i'm just using uh oracle bot for you know gear repair over time because it works for me in elite raids and sm but yeah you can use whatever you want you can also quickly change it if you want to and for single target allies uh the only thing we're going to change is the combat ally i'm using crypto or you can also use house of legends bot they are almost the same actually sometimes crypto does get stuck as well so house of legends bot is still great so if you want to use that you can use this really really great single target damage same for uh, first support ally you can use batman laughs and number two is also again optional you can use any you want so these are the allies all right so this is it i think i did not miss anything if i did miss anything i'll just put it in the uh, pinned comment down below and make sure you read that and as always positioning is the key make sure you're hitting all the targets when you're doing ranged aoe or melee aoe and other than that buff yourself up don't be shy nitros and compounds and use supply drops henchmen trinkets orbitals time your orbitals by the way use your allies as much as possible and you are gonna do great so this is it if you have any questions comment down below in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and i will see you guys next time